What's up, Terrifics? I promise you something special at the end of the day. I promise Mad Cats, and I've got Alex Very here and Mad Cats. Now, Alex, I'm so happy you're here. I am in a suite here at the Westgate Hotel in Las Vegas, Nevada. We're live on Be Terrific. And we're so blessed. From the Westgate. From the Westgate Hotel, and we are blessed to host Be Terrific and all the Terrifics coming to see us at Mad Cats. For the last session of CES. For today, day one. Day day one. one. And we got the wrap-up show still, but you're going to stay oh, yeah. on for that. We're just going to stay am. here. We're, We're going to add more people to the room and take it over. It's going to be great. I'm it looking is. forward to that. Let me ask you something. Yeah. Uh, I am confused. Mad Cats is a wonderful brand. I loved all the products you guys made. And yeah. then they, you guys kind of went away for a little bit. And I, now you're back. I don't underst- I don't quite understand it myself. I'm not sure really what I'm doing here or what year this is. It's quite amazing. But what a story, Michael. <laughs> what, what a story. <laughs> What year so what is, is the Who's story? President? Who's pre- what is the story? It's, it, it, president of what country? I, the, the USA. Oh, did you Hillary don't want to talk win? about the president did of Puerto Hillary Rico? Did Hillary win? <laughs> tell me Hillary won. Please, God, tell me Hillary won. I, I, um, I have to tell you the uh, news that Hillary did not win. Are you kidding? I'm not kidding. Really? It's true. All right, let's look. <laughs> but we covered that last year, didn't we? <laughs> I'm so good. I don't know what year it is. All right. You, with Mad Cats. It's insane. Yeah, what's going I on? I haven't worked for Mad Cats for two years, ladies and gentlemen, and now Mad Cats is back. Explain to me what happened. It's bizarre, huh? It's, ha- it's the gaming story of CES, and we're here to tell it on Be Terrific, ladies and gentlemen, to the millions of folks I, out can there. Can I have an exclusive on something? Yeah. I mean, we've been friends a long time, so I'll tell us the well, story. I'll give you the exclusive scoop. It's quite incredible. So I stopped working. I, I used to be, for the B-Terrifics who don't know me, I was here representing different companies last year. I have a PR agency now, but uh, back in the day, I worked for like 10 years for Mad Cats Interactive. I was the PR director, been on your show many times before, Michael. Absolutely. Yapping about the cats. And uh, and two years ago, uh, I left Mad Cats. 40% of the company left Mad Cats two years ago, because uh, they they started hitting the skids. Uh, last year, 2017, Mad Cats go bye-bye. They shut the doors. No more cats. Cats is gone. And, uh, and amazingly, uh, they have more lives than the nine lives a normal cat has. And Mad Cats has risen from the grave like a phoenix from the ashes. And they are back. It's unbelievable. And I'm doing the PR for them again. Yay. That's awesome. Congratulations, insane, by huh? the way. And I love it because I absolutely love the products. They were so yeah. innovative. They were so cool. And I see a lot of the design cues from the old Mad Cats. So why don't you take us through it? Well, you know, the DNA yeah. of Mad Cats is definitely back there. And that's kind of what excited me to come back and start doing the PR for them. So uh, so when Mad Cats goes bye-bye, uh, the new company that came in to buy Mad Cats is comprised mainly of folks uh, over in their Asian office yeah. who had actually worked on the products, worked on the manufacturing side so and the they, design are side. Are these people who worked hard their whole lives, put the money together themselves to That's do it? it? This is not venture cap back? Well, no, no. It's, well, it's a private company. Um, and these are the guys that, I mean, so they formed a new holding company sure. to buy the Mad Cats assets after they went into liquidation. So it's, it's crazy stuff. But these are guys that worked on Mad Cats for like 10 years, 12 years, 15 years. They worked on the technology, the design, the ID. So that's why the products that you're seeing that we're going to take a look at in a moment, they've got the Mad Cats DNA, right? They're not like uh, source products slapped with a logo on them and just kind of uh, facelessly put out there. They share the idea. It's of not a licensing deal. This is exactly. actually rebuilding the company the rebuilding way it should the brand. be. This is wonderful. That's amazing. This is really wonderful. Yeah, it is. All it right, is. so it's a legendary brand with it legendary is. products, and you're going to walk me through some of the new products. Yeah, you want to see? No, the terrific. I'll see you, you later. See? All right, bye, everybody. We're out of it. Of course you want to see. All right, come on, walk me through the right, products. Come over here, come over here, come over here, what Brian. Is it? By the way, what is this? Because it's lighting up, and I was starting to play with it before, I said, you know what, let Alex tell me I know what you like, Michael. Anything that lights up, you're attracted to you're like yes. a cat with a ball of string. I know what you're like. Okay, you this. say that to all the men. <laughs> uh, this is state of the art. This yeah. is actually the most sophisticated mouse the world has ever seen. Uh, check this out. This is the brand new rat air. Uh, so Madcast was very famous for uh, for their rat mice. Uh, hugely customizable, really well reviewed. Uh, we would be foolish to to junk the rat. And in fact, the rat is back in uh, in in power here at CS 2018. This is the state of the art rat air. Uh, so it is a totally wireless mouse. Look how it just glides across this gaming surface. It's incredible. Fully wireless, but check this out, Michael. I know you'll be terrific because so won't be able to see this at home, but it's actually, check how light that is. Oh, it, it doesn't weigh anything. This is very nice. I, now, you know the what reason I always, for that, yeah. I'm sorry to interrupt, but i got to take because no, it's, it's incredible. it's okay. It's your show. I mean, it's incredible. <laughs> you know, it's always your show, Michael. Thank you. We're all just visitors in your world. Uh, it has no battery on board. Uses it has no battery on. I, on I don't understand. I know it's unbelievable. So it uses uh, super capacitor technology, yeah. uh, and so inside the inside the uh, little mat here. So this plugs in via USB, right? And it's drawing its power from the mat. 
So, so there is no battery inside there. That's why it keeps super light. So there's no battery to discharge. Uh, there's nothing to run out. There's no power to run out. It's just taking the power directly from the mat. Isn't that incredible? That is incredible. You've got a coil system now, inside here. Uh, the power is being fed wirelessly to the mouse, and that's what keeps it so light but so responsive now, at the same time. Is this something that I would want as a gamer? I don't know that I would want something light, but I maybe it is. Well, yeah, absolutely. Pro gamers, they like their mouse to be light. They don't like to be uh, weighed down with batteries. They don't like uh, they don't like batteries failing on them either. Either. So as long as you've got this plugged in via USB, it is going to work. And you, what, you, what you have here is a lot of precision, which I'm, I'm impressed by. And these mice have always been very comfortable. Yeah. Oh, there's no doubt about it. It's the most comfortable mouse on the market. You have the adjustable uh, palm rest there as well, which is pretty awesome. Uh, interestingly, you can see it still remains lit up. So for about 20 seconds, when you take it off the off the mat. Still going to give you power. So if you with no you, battery at all, it, in with there? no battery, it's unbelievable. It retains the charge, so you'll be able to see that this will this will slowly die down. And I'm going to show you how quickly it snaps back into life when I place it down on the mat. That looks now, that, like a little nitrogen canister or something. It's good, huh? Well, yeah. this is actually a toggle switch, so you can program that and you can use that to do like your machine guns in game. You can program any of these buttons here. This, this is, is more than 20 seconds. I just want you to know. Well, there you go. Okay, <laughs> you can see. So it's finally dying here. I don't know if your camera can follow. This is me. like when Kevin says we're on air in 40 <laughs> seconds. Check this light. Look, even as I bring it back close you see that so look even with it doesn't off, have to be all the way down there you go and it's just back in action very cool now this has got this is the fastest mouse on the market you are talking about a lag rate there are some gamers out there that say you know what i don't want a wireless mouse because the lag is terrible 0 0.5 milliseconds is the lag rate can you believe that you cannot see that with Z the human you, eye you, you cannot see that with the human eye refresh rate of a typical game between when you press a button on a controller and you see something on screen is about 33 milliseconds this is 0 0.5 milliseconds Seconds. Very it's incredible. impressive. Yeah. It's very impressive. And if yeah. you were going to a tournament and you don't want it wireless, check this out, Brian. Come down here. See this? Look, I unplugged the little cable. See, I can unplug the cable, and I can actually plug it directly into the mouse. So if I want my mouse to be wired, I can convert it into a wired mouse at the now same time. Now, that's something that Mad Cats has always done is given you options and the ability to do it both ways, and yep. I like that. Are these the fine folks back here who have worked on the engineering? Yeah, behind some of them are over there. Say hello, everybody. Say hello, everybody. Hey. Oh, they don't like to be filmed. They're all shy <laughs> over there. Look at that. <laughs> it's, it's like that it's like you're. It's like don't film me. It's like, don't film me. It's like Brian's playing an FPV. I know. Or <laughs> an FPS. And he just turned it around. <laughs> he just turned around and he's, he's got the guns out and he's shooting them. Uh, so, uh, so what? Is, what is this? This is a Mad Cat's keyboard. Brand new keyboard. Yeah. Absolutely. So the old Mad Cat's had a range of keyboards called the strike uh, this, this is mechanical is, so that's not no that's not mechanical this one over here is mechanical they look pretty much the same huh but uh this bad boy of it oh look at this i don't know if i can bring that in so this is the mechanical version this is the non-mechanical version uh the mechanical version is called the strike four uh we also have it in black over here i don't know if brian can see the the black version over there so that's the strike four that features mechanical keys uh we're using cherry brown uh which is the most favored and popular key for uh, for keyboards out there uh, we've got an aluminum chassis there as well so it's very hard wearing on the four you've got full rgb lighting you can actually assign different lights to each and every key on here which is pretty incredible as well full macros on here anti-ghosting all the good stuff that you would expect from a keyboard uh, the version over here that you were looking at this is the strike two now this features a membrane uh, that mad Cats have worked on in-house uh, that mimics the look and feel of mechanical keys uh, but it's actually much cheaper than mechanical keys. But does it have the same response or it doesn't because it's close but not the same? Well, I think, you know, fans of mechanical keyboards will only ever favor mechanical keyboards. Yeah, which I is mean, why we've given them the mechanical with the Strike 4, but the Strike 2 has got a, a membrane technology. Rory's back in uh, Mission Control in New Jersey, oh, yeah. and he just talked in my ear and said, I need that mechanical keyboard, and he wants to do a full tech review on it. He wants to, Rory, you want to do a tech review? The he big does. boy's going to make that happen for you. Whoa. You're going to get it as soon as it comes. It's shipping this summer. He's so got to wait that long. You don't want a tech review that before that? Look, you've got to wait for the good stuff, right? You've got to wait for the good stuff. I guess so. That's you've very got to wait true. For the good stuff. This as is soon available. as it's available, uh, they're all available summer. So I have a question to, for Rory, and he should say this in my ear. Would yeah. he try something like this? Because he's very much a snob when it comes to keyboards and mice. He's a, a big FPS guy and a, a big PC gamer. And, you know, he's... You know, well, not, not PC, always into wireless. Well, PC is what we're about. And you know what? A lot of people aren't into wireless, which is why you can have that as a dual wired and wired solution as well. But we have plenty more rats to talk to you about. So hold fire, oh, Rory. Oh, all right. We've got a rat for you, don't you know? We've got a rat for you. So, he likes uh, the rats. He just said in my ear it's okay. his favorite my, mouse. Well, there you yeah. go. The man's got style. The man's but I just got want to know if he'd use that. Yeah, he's, he's also a stickler for, like, 
millisecond delays. It's really ridiculous. Zero point five milliseconds, Rory. I've never met Rory, but I think I'd get on with him. You you might that's have a met. Stand up him. name yeah. is Rory. Zero I like that. point five milliseconds. That that's pretty fast. Why do you say the zero before the point? Well, point f- I could say just point five. You could. I could shorten it, ladies and gentlemen. But I like because it's a slight. Is it a sleight of hand? Like you're trying to make me think it's point zero five by saying zero point five. I have no idea. I, I have no. I just had just a five-hour five. energy, Michael. I'm not sure what I'm saying at this point. You only had half. I'm not even In sure if honesty, you're real or if you're a product of my imagination at this point. But uh, I'm not sure the five-hour energy five. did that to you, by the way. All right. Okay. <laughs> I don't. Wanna, we'll just, I don't. We'll I don't, we'll I don't know if we want five-hour energy calling we'll, up Pete Terrific like, say, "Hey, I wait a second. second. Yeah. I gotta say, we refute that this has made this guy uh, get his specs wrong. Yeah. Uh, so point five. Okay. Wh- right. What else do we have here? Oh, we got so much else. Uh, so this a, a little product that you were looking at there. Check this out. Uh, yeah. So this. This is called. Uh, this is a brand new concept in tournament audio. So this is called the ES Pro. So you know what? There are some gamers yeah. who just don't like wearing a headset. Simple as that. I know it's sacrilegious, but they just don't like the weight. They don't like the oppression that a headset gives it's them. It's also hot. It's very hot after Damn. like six or seven hours. You got it. And some of these tournament players play for that long. So this is a different concept. You got in ear earbuds here. You have this little plastic hook that sits inside the ear to stop it falling out. A lot of in earbuds uh, fall out very easily. This stops the, ear, uh, the earbud falling out. But you've got a little boom mic on here as well. So this is perfect for tournament play. You can either have both in, you can have one in. Uh, it gives you professional grade communication. Uh, this is a noise isolating microphone. It gives you professional grade communication without the headset. And does that microphone pull off if it you does. just want to go listen? It does. Pull it off. There pull you it go. off. So, and then you've got a I set. I thought that was an old trick. See that there, ladies and gentlemen? <laughs> Ta-da! <laughs> David Copperfield. Well, we are in Vegas. Uh, so you have, you have a second microphone built in here as well. So you don't actually have to have the boom mic. If you're just playing casually, you have an, uh, you have an integrated microphone. Or if you want to use it for phone calls. If you want to use it for phone calls. But then if you're going to be playing for the tournament, the boom mic is always going to be better. Sure. Absolutely. Absolutely, especially if you don't want other people, other teams to hear your secrets. There you go. Especially if they're wearing the same headphones. So that is yes. the ES Pro. That's going to be shipping probably first. Okay. That's going to be shipping first. And then we've got, is this is this something cool? Yeah, but I'm going to show over here, actually, because it's it's cooler over here, because this one lights. Really? It's cool over here. Oh, it's cool it's over there. It's still cool over this here. This one lights up, so mine's better than yours. Oh, Look at well, that. You see that? Listen. <laughs> My button might not be as big. I, well, your button. <laughs> I'm just kidding. It doesn't matter. It's what you do with it that counts, Michael. <laughs> uh, so I hear. Uh, so this is the Freak 4. Brand new headsets from Agnes. I'm sorry. I couldn't hear you. This was isolating me. What did you well, say? Well, it was doing its job, ladies and gentlemen. Uh, this is... Uh, <laughs> <laughs> this is the Freak 4 headset from yeah. Madcats. Uh, Madcats used to do a range of headsets called the Freak. They always sounded great, but people didn't like the design of them. They looked kind of funky. Uh, we think this is uh, a much, much cooler design, much more traditional headset design. Uh, you've got an aluminum chassis, which is very lightweight but very robust, and uh, and adapts, as you can see, to fit the, the shape and size of your head. So even a noggin like yours, it's going to be perfectly it's gonna fit. comfortable. Let me show everybody again with the light up. And uh, Okay, we'll move that out. There we go. We'll uh, it's loud in here. We've got a lot of stuff going. On, on this what table. games are we playing right now? What, I don't is this even League know, of Legends? Is, I have no idea. Yeah, I think you're linked up to League of Legends. Uh, you've got a little 7.1 toggle on here as well, so you can change between stereo sound and 7.1 sound. Uh, you have full RGB lighting. How do you on do here. 7.1 surround in a headphone? I mean, realistically, it sounds too good to be true. Well, it's a math trick yeah. uh, because ultimately you're always going to have two speakers right in the headphone, so it's a math trick. But you so. really do make it sound like it's going around you. It is. It's it's clever. It's a voodoo magic. It really is. So it's a clever. It's a clever a maths trick and uh, what it does is it fools the ear into thinking that sound is going all around you and behind you surprisingly effective it's come on a lot in the last few years yeah. as well Very you cool. have a little retractable mic on here as well it goes back up on in um, great headset stereo 7.1 again going to be coming out uh, late summer from Mad Cats very nice uh, we have all co- you know what- I like that we're showing people products that aren't available yet they're getting this really nice oh this piece. is like an exclusive for you guys nothing here is coming out for, well, for a totally months. exclusive on this stuff the story well, maybe the story maybe and showing the folks who work so hard behind the scenes yeah the nobody had seen the that camera. they were terrified <laughs> by the way they, I quite like that I quite like that we should do that again because they were terrified um, let's maybe not do that Oh, there you go. Hi, guys. Uh, okay, so this is the Rat 2. So, uh, so this is a, a more entry-level mouse. So this is uh, the first uh, Rat that Mad Cats has done that actually lights up. So you have full RGB lighting in here. And uh, using the software that Mad Cats has designed called Flux, uh, you're able to customize that RGB lighting as well. So that's pretty cool. This is the coolest one, though. I there mean, you this go. Is, you this found like, it. Yeah, this is like the Terminator. I, I always say yeah. that this is like the Batwing or uh, you know, the Batmobile of mouse 
mice. And that's the uh, the Rat Pro X3. So, yeah. uh, so this was actually a holdover from old. Why do you Mac why do you put so many uh, letters in there? Why don't you just, just to call confuse it? me? Yeah. They like to challenge me. They like, as the PR guy, they like to keep adding and letters and numbers to try to confuse me. And you've me. got the, the scroll wheel that can go left and right and yep. up and down and do all and, sorts of stuff. Well, it stuff. pops out on this one. Look at this. Yeah. So you, it'll pop out, and then you can use the little... You've got a little Allen wrench that it ships with, so you can adjust how tight This was like is. the best mouse ever made. And it's better even... It, this is the new version. So this is called the X3. Yeah. Uh, we haven't got it plugged in. We can probably get that done. We can probably plug that in, but it's now got RGB lighting on board. Very nice. So it's got a few new tricks. It's got RGB lighting on board. You can swap out the sensor on this mouse as well. Uh, so the actual sensor itself unclips. You can put the brand new Why would you swap out a sensor? Because sensors, uh, it's like TVs, right? Yeah. So new sensor technology becomes available like every year. They do a new sensor, better sensor, bigger sensor. Uh, and they're from third parties. So, for instance, we use PixArt, which is... Uh, the opt which is an optical sensor. Sure. And a lot of gamers like the PixArt sensor. Every year they'll come out with a new one and a better one. So what happens? Well, mice manufacturers put that sensor into their new mouse, and you've got to go out and buy a new, a new mouse. mouse. So instead, we're able just to swap out the sensors. You can keep the mouse that you like, but just buying the new sensor modules Very. much cheaper. That's great. Much less weight. Can't right? beat that, right? You can't beat that. This is the brand new uh, 3389 optical sensor from PixArt. Uh, so we're using the latest, greatest optical sensor. Uh, that's the one it ships with, but we'll be doing new modules down the line so you can swap them out as you go. Awesome. And it comes with that whole box of goodies that I showed you. So you've got different palm rests in there. You've got different feet. Uh, and it comes with a carry case that you can and take And a nice little carry case. Yeah, Isn't that's that what I was going to point out. All right, so All I, right. I've got something for you. You had an exclusive for me. I got yeah. something for you. All right. It's time pretty much to do the Be Terrific wrap-up show. All right. And I figured let's do it live here from the Westgate. Be Terrific live at the Westgate some more. We'll do the wrap-up show for day one of CES. And uh, I figure we'll take a quick little break. Yep. And we'll get kind of repositioned. All right. And reconfigured. And we'll do the wrap-up show right here live from the Westgate. From the Westgate. Let's do it. I'm honored. Awesome. All right. And you'll be on it. I'm going to be on it. We're going to take right. a break? Yeah, we're going to take a quick break. I can get a water and a handkerchief. And maybe another five-hour energy. <laughs> Let's not do another five-hour energy. Nobody needs to see that. Uh, but it might be fun. Okay. It might be disastrous. That's true. It might. You think you'd take a nap or what? <laughs> What's going to happen? It could, it could be lunacy. I could strip off naked and start running around this place. I mean, and again, no we got we to get him to drink another five hours. <laughs> Gee, it's got to be worth it. It's the end of CES Day 1. Uh, I mean, come on. It's time for partying, right? It's, it's what time goes for Vegas. Vegas. That would be the least surprising thing to happen to Vegas. No one would even bat an eyelid. That's the <laughs> All right. We're going to take a quick naked break. Naked fat we'll be dude back. running down the corridor. <laughs> Nobody cares. It's like, well, it just happens. We're going to take a quick break. We'll be yeah. back with your wrap-up show for Day 1. I can't believe the end of Day 1 is upon us here. Here at CES 2018, but we've got a lot more to come today with the wrap-up show, and of course we'll be back tomorrow. Don't forget you can download the Apple TV app and Android and Amazon Fire apps as well. We'll be back right after this. Stay with us. Don't go anywhere.